Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Templating a Global Header and Footer. And in this video, we're going to be taking our static HTML web page that we just coded up in the previous lecture and taking the header and the footer out and splitting them into their own global header and footer PHP files so that we can use them globally across our website, no matter how large our website grows, so that we don't have to keep editing the header and the footer if we make changes on any of those pages. So let's jump right in. All right, so here in our code editor, in our student folder, we last left off with our index.php file, and it had everything uh, in our basic web page layout. So from the doc type, we had our HTML all the way down to our footer, and we closed up the HTML tag. This is just a static index.php file, but we want to utilize our skills in PHP and try and take advantage of what PHP can offer us to make our website more dynamic and easier to maintain. So we're going to be splitting out the header and the footer. And I don't just mean the head tag or, you know, uh, if we had a div with the ID of header or the div with the ID of footer. I mean the header and footer PHP files are going to be templates and they can be any section of the PHP file here that we want, any section of the HTML. And we're basically going to be taking everything from line one, so doc type, all the way down to the opening content tag. We're going to take that, remove it from index.php, and paste it in a separate header.php template. So why don't we just do that? So let's take this out, cut that, just go command X for cut. If you're using a Mac, I'm not sure what it is on PC, but you can also go edit cut. So that copies it to your clipboard and removes it from the file. And in your student folder, add a new folder and call it includes. In the includes folder, add a new file and call it header.php. Open up your header.php file. and paste what you just cut from the index.php file. So here we have our header. So save that, and back in your index.php file, you'll see that you no longer have a header section. Uh, and now what we're actually gonna do is create a new file in our includes and call it footer.php. All right, and in our footer.php, we're basically going to take everything else that was in the index.php file. So all of this, cut that, and now we have nothing left in our index.php file. It's kind of funny, we did all that work in index.php, now it's all gone. But it's actually good because now, if you paste the contents of your clipboard into footer.php, we now have a header .php and a footer.php with the content that was once in index.php. And we're actually going to uh, utilize a little bit more includes here and templates within the header and footer while we are doing this lecture. So let's go back to header. Now remember when I said that the uh, nav is static, but we're actually going to be using PHP to make it a little bit more uh, dynamic. Well, why don't we just do that right now while we're in here in our header.php. Create a new file in includes, call it nav.php. Cut the, all of the list items out of here. And replace inside the unordered list a PHP tag or script and say include, includes slash nav.php. So we're gonna be including nav.php. So basically this is just going to pull this template right here in our HTML. So in our header.php, we're going to grab what is in includes and nav.php. Currently nav.php doesn't have anything in it. Uh, but it will. Now, just a quick note, you might be wondering, why am I saying uh, look for the includes folder and then nav? 
uh, rather than just saying nav.php because header.php is in the includes folder. So shouldn't you just say include php include nav.php because it's literally in the same folder? Well, not necessarily because what we're actually going to do in a little bit here is in the index file, include the header.php template and index is in the root of our final website folder which means header will therefore be in the root. So that means this includes script here. We need to dive into the includes folder because we are now going to be in the root of the folder. Hopefully that makes sense. So open up your nav.php file. It should be empty, but let's just paste our HTML for now. We actually won't be using this HTML at all, but I want to use it for reference so we don't have to go back and forth. Let's start by adding an unordered list. And that just reminds me that we actually need to remove the unordered list in our header.php and actually just have the PHP include script inside the nav div. Just that. Because we're going to use the UL in the include nav.php file. So let's go back. All right, and in our unordered list, let's just paste these bad boys, the list items, in our unordered list. So technically now, in our header.php file, we're pulling the nav.php uh, list items right here in our nav tag. And it should have all of these list items that we just pasted in here. So why don't we see what everything looks like so far. But before we do, we need to go back to our index.php file because there's nothing in it. If we were to navigate to index.php right now, nothing would show up because there's nothing in the index folder. We've done a lot of work over here in the header, footer, and nav.php, but we're not calling it at all. We're not asking PHP to pull that info in. So let's do that. All you need to do is Add a PHP script here in your index.php file and add an include to look for header.php. And then at the bottom, we're actually going to do the same thing. So I'm going to paste a separate instance of this PHP script because we're actually going to have some HTML in between the two right here. So let's replace this with footer.php. Now save this, open up your index file. You'll see it hasn't changed on the front side of it, but that's a good thing because we actually have our header and our footer showing up right here in the index.php file, but now we're using templates. If you were to look at the source code, it should basically look identical to the original index.php file because the browser doesn't interpret PHP as the PHP that you see in your code editor. It actually spits it out as HTML. So here's your index.php file, all in one nice formatted uh, file. And that's how the browser sees it. That's why you see this. So let's take this a step further and we're going to make our nav a little bit more dynamic using PHP to make it a little bit easier to maintain your site in the future. So we're actually going to add another file to our includes folder. And let's call it arrays.php. And in there is where we're going to add a bunch of PHP arrays throughout the, course, the development of our final site. So go ahead and open up your arrays.php file. Start it off with a PHP script. And let's start by adding some navigation menu items using an array. So nav menu items. Let's call this nav items and array and within the array let's add another array or a series of arrays is what we're actually going to be doing and let's um, add slug and then this will be called 
index.php will be the slug, and then title will be home. So the key and the value pair. And let's copy and paste this three more times and just change the values. So this will be team.php, and this will be team, and then menu.php, menu, and then contact.php, and the title will be contact. Save that in our arrays.php. Now in our nav.php file, we're just going to use a simple PHP for each loop. So PHP and for each nav items as item echo and here we will add some HTML and then uh, a href we're going to need to use some backslashes here to escape these double quotes if you remember in a previous lecture item slug is what we're looking for so that will give us the slug meaning the file name so index.php team.php so on and so forth and then item title and that should give us basically it's going to loop through our nav items and give us the slug and the title of each of the elements in our nav items array. And that should spit out our list items. But we won't actually get to see our list items because we're not pulling in our um, arrays folder. Uh, there's no way that you know the nav.php file can know uh, what is in the arrays.php because there's no reference on our uh, in our website yet. So here at the top of our header.php, this is a really great place to put some PHP you want to load first thing. So PHP script. Let's add an include folder or include function and say includes arrays.php and that should be all you need to do. So why don't we check it out now in our browser. So there they are, the home team menu and contact. Looks like it did before, but now it's actually being pulled in via a PHP array. And now all you technically need to do in your arrays file is just add another array or another series of arrays with a slug and a title if you wanted to add more pages. Okay, so let's just make sure we have everything here. We have our dynamic header and our dynamic footer. And I believe that we should be good to go. So that is the header and the footer templates. We threw in some arrays.php and a nav.php. So we actually kind of jumped right in here and got our hands really dirty with some PHP templating. Hopefully that made sense. Feel free to rewind and start the whole lecture over again or just go to the specific parts that you need to uh, learn again. And I'll see you in the next lecture where we're going to be diving even deeper into this PHP awesomeness. See you there.